Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will do a speed test comparison of two mid-range devices around the 30 to 35,000 price segment in India. We have the newly launched Vivo T3 Ultra with the Dimensity 9200 Plus chip and we also have the uh, OnePlus Nord 4 with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 chip. So these are two devices around the 30 to 35,000 price segment. So let's do a quick speed test to see which performs better. Now in terms of uh, specification, both are really good performing uh, chip. Both have 12 gigabyte RAM, LPDDR5 x RAM and uh, UFS uh, 3.1 on the Vivo T3 Pro while the 256 gigabyte uh, storage variant has UFS 4.0 on the OnePlus Nord 4 while the 128 has UFS 3.1. So that's the hardware. So let's uh, go to the about phone on both the devices. So let's just take uh, about device. So you can see here front touch OS uh, with uh, uh, Android 14 out of the box, 3.35 gigahertz uh, octa core processor, Dimensity 9200 plus. And uh, here we have uh, the OnePlus Nord 4 with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 platform, uh, 12 gigabyte RAM and Android 14 out of the box. Uh, this is Oxygen OS 14.1. So let's just clear off all the background apps. So there you go. Uh, so everything is cleared off from the background. And let's also see the network setting. Now uh, we have the performance mode enabled on the both devices for gaming. Now ideally there is no turbo mode or performance mode on the uh, Vivo T3 Ultra but for games uh, the gaming mode is enabled and here we have the performance mode enabled. So let's go straight into the uh, speed test comparison. So we just cleared off all the background apps and both are running on the same network. We'll just uh, turn off the Bluetooth here. So you can see here similar settings both are in airplane mode. So once again, we'll just turn this on. So there you go. So we'll start uh, the uh, speed test comparison. Just clearing off the backs once again. So let's first open with Asphalt Unite. So let's see which opens Asphalt Unite faster. You can see here Game Turbo or the gaming mode is enabled on both the phones. So let's see which opens this faster. You can see here. Um, Vivo T3 Turbo was slightly faster. Next is uh, BGMI. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. Here OnePlus has taken the marginal lead here and OnePlus has opened it faster. So uh, BGMI is faster on uh, the OnePlus uh, Nord C Nord 4. Next is uh, Play Store. Uh, OnePlus was slightly faster, Chrome browser, Vivo was slightly faster, Facebook again Vivo is faster, Twitter probably OnePlus is slightly faster, Instagram uh, you can see here uh, OnePlus is faster, Spotify again OnePlus is slightly faster, Amazon so here Vivo is faster, Flipkart again Vivo is slightly faster file manager oneplus is faster settings almost same time youtube vivo is faster gmail once again vivo is faster camera oneplus is faster and maps here again vivo is slightly faster so you could see that it's neck to neck in terms of uh, opening of apps there is no clear winner both are really good in terms of performance now next is the memory management let's open the apps in the reverse order so both have 12 gigabyte ram so ideally they should be able to retain all the apps in the background so let's see if any apps are uh, removed from the background or reloaded so as of now all of the apps are available in the memory So there you go. Now moving on to the games. Uh, both the games are available in the memory and finally Asphalt. Now Asphalt uh, Unite has been reloaded on uh, uh, the OnePlus Nord, C Nord 4 while it has been retained on the Vivo T3 Ultra. So that's the only difference but um, I would say most of the apps are available in the memory. So again Vivo T3 Ultra did have an advantage. Now next is the network speed. So both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's uh, uh, see uh, the, so there you go, we'll just test here. So we have connected to the server. So 
so we got uh, very similar results nothing much to differentiate next going to the synthetic benchmarks so here let's see which is better so you can see here vivo's uh, t3 ultra has uh, almost close to 14 lakh 30 lakh 84 000 it's compared to 11 lakh 81 000 on the oneplus nord 4. so uh, both are uh, pretty good here in terms of uh, uh, the test so let's just go here so you can see here oneplus nord 4 is not really tuned for performance instead it's more tuned for uh, the memory management and battery performance while this is more of a performance oriented chip so let's uh, see the storage test here so you can see here let's just test this so storage test uh, this is a uh, ufs uh, 4.0 while this is ufs 3.1 that difference obviously will turn up here so you can see here 156 thousand uh 49 is the score on uh, the one plus uh, not four while this is ufs 3.1 uh, this is there's no ufs 4.0 variant on the vivo t3 ultra so obviously this will be slightly lesser in values so let's see the values here so you can see here 87,000. so that's uh, the difference so uh, you can see that obviously in terms of synthetic benchmarks uh the one plus uh, is slightly behind the vivo t3 ultra now let's go to the geekbench test uh, and uh, here we will see the final results so there you go you can see here 2092 and uh, 1876 5454 while 4985 once again synthetic benchmark scores uh, the vivo t3 ultra is uh, slightly leading so that was the performance testing and the speed of these two devices and also the synthetic benchmark. So you can see here both are really good uh, performing chip uh, in the mid-range segment in the 30 to 35,000 price segment. So which one of these devices would you pick? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Zomra signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.